Hello, hello, hello. And here we are again. We're talking about Queen and the various live releases that they've put out over the years. And this one is, if you remember the title description, this is Queen, A Night at the Odium, released 20th of November 2015. But the gig was recorded 24th of December 1975. Um, again, if you're in the know, the 24th of December gig... 1975 is is um, the last date on Queen's tour to support the Night of the Opera in, in the UK, um, and it's famous for being um, documented, recorded by the BBC for the Old Grey Whistle Test, and the audio was I think broadcast on Radio One. Um, so it's a very well, already a very well documented um, concert. And it's one that I was familiar with. Uh, if you watched my other video, I taped this one off the radio back in the day. So it was something that I was uh, very, very familiar with. Uh, when the box set was released in 2015, I bought it and I did I did do a video on it. I don't know if it's still out there. It probably isn't. I don't know. I can't remember. But I, I remember it was, there was a lot of ephemera, lots of posters and whatnot. <laughs> um, because it isn't a particularly uh, long gig it's 60 minutes the, the 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 video portion of it the audio 73 minutes because the bbc packed up their cameras before uh, the second encore so you miss it but it was the audio was still running but they didn't didn't actually bother uh, video in um the last couple of songs that, that the band would were, were doing so uh, <laughs> Yeah, the audio of this is is the most complete. Um, yeah, when it came out it was, it, in 2015, it was released CD, DVD, standard ray Blu-ray, double vinyl, and that, that did Lux box set that I mentioned. Uh, again, this and the the previous one, the previous um, release, uh, Live at the Rainbow. The set lists are, set lists are very very similar um you know it's not much there's not much difference between them you know you know so it's a, it's a bit you know this is the more iconic one because it was their victory performance you know this is the one that you know everybody knows i'm not poo-pooing it i'm just saying this you know this is the this is the better known if you want something more exotic then you know go for the live at the rainbow which was only partially known Whereas this one was totally and utterly well known. Uh, of course, go and get the uh, the DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, that does have some extras on it. Uh, they've got some footage from uh, the, their gigs in Tokyo at the Budokan in Japan from 1975, 1st of May, which is which is you know which is all right it's not it's a shame it's not the full thing but you get three tracks there and there's also a 22 minute documentary um with Brian May Roger Taylor and Bob Harris uh talking about you know remembering the Odeon concert so yeah those are the extras you get with the DVD Blu-ray again i think the Blu-ray is um worth picking up because it's I think you can get it for under a ten of these days. There was a CD and DVD edition. So you got the audio and the video and um, I think you'd get that for a tenner. You might be able to get a second hand copy somewhere because a lot of this stuff is kind of again because all these different editions of it, some of them go out of out of print and out, are out of sale a lot quicker than the others, like the vinyl and the you know I think you can still get the box set. I think you still get the standard C D but the um, vinyl and the CD DVD edition might be a bit hard for you to find now. You might have to go on eBay or the second-hand market um, to to get hold of those. But yeah, I mean, for me, it's um, and they often show this on the TV. They show this one regularly, especially near Christmas. You know, it's uh, you know, it, it, is it worth buying? Not particularly, because you, you could see it. Just hang around long enough, and they'll show it. I think Channel Five have shown it. I think the BBC, BBC Four has shown it. BBC Two, um, you know, just wait long enough and they'll repeat it again for you. I think it's available. It might be available on their TV. I haven't looked for this one, but yeah, I mean, it's one that we're all familiar with. So, you know, 
I wouldn't be surprised if you know this one. It's still good fun, and it's still again. This is a this is a band that's it's they are on the up. You know, Bohemian Rhapsody is at the top of the charts. I think it's halfway through its run, nine week run at the top of the charts, and this they're halfway through it. After this, life will never be the same for them. The gigs will get bigger and more flamboyant, and uh, yeah, this is them as the 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 rise become a stratospheric. So yeah, check it out. It's a good one. Even though it's slightly truncated, it's still a good one. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I have been talking about uh, Queen's A Night at the Odeon, probably one of the most documented and represented of Queen's live albums material. I mean, again, Radio 1 played it. It's been on the TV. Yeah, there's a good chance you've come across this one already. I, like I said, my tape copy. Is to, I have to get a tape player so I can play my tape edition uh, from all those years ago. I mean, I recorded it in the 80s. must have been about 83, 84 when I recorded it off of Radio 1. Um, Friday Night Rock Show, probably, with Tommy Vance. It's one of their special shows that I used to do. Um, so, yeah, get, seek this one out. You might enjoy it if you like that early period. Uh, and that's that. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Um, there's not much else to say other than ta-da!